All right, so we just left the Cherry Hill Tesla service department and the service advisor and I were going around the vehicle and he told me there's a lot of different things that are not, what, what was his words? Well, I don't know. The, the issues that I was pointing out on the car are considered are normal. Are considered normal. And I said, well, not considered normal to me and every other fucking car I've owned. I said, tail lights with moisture in them is, is, is normal. Well, why does one side have it and not the other? And then I stored my car in my shop that's 70 degrees without any rain. And then I drive to you at 1045 the next day and it's sunny out and there's still moisture in it. That's not normal, dude. Right. <laughs> the hinge reveal, hinge reveal on the driver's side body gap, I can mentally understand that but what I don't really digest is why didn't they correct it in the body process like okay we'll make that side of the uh, stamping a little bit longer so you don't see the clockworks of your power hatch stupid and then the wiper arm touching the hood uh, is not normal and uh and I looked at some other Teslas that were sitting there uh, and didn't have uh, mismatched hood alignment in the front. Wiper arms were clear of the hood. The tail light gaps were equal uh, on the one that I checked. What else did I look at? Uh, I didn't see moisture in anyone else's tail lights <laughs> at, at the 20 fucking cars or 30 cars that I, I walk by and uh, the inner fender liners that have the holes drilled for push clips well it's consistent I looked at other ones so the liners are drilled but there's no holes in the unibody for push clips so that's the way it is uh, so I'm curious to see what they have to say about this but it's, it's this is quite normal for Tesla what quite normal to have shitty quality standards I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. Uh, we're going to find out what the outcome is. It's normal for them it's to normal. have rush jobs. It, it's normal to have rushed, slammed together, pushed together, slapped together vehicles. Uh, that's not cool. Like, now you're getting a rep for poor workmanship right. and, and quality uh, and design. That's not a good thing for your, your you know your premier EV line. It, I mean, this is what we're talking about, right? You're, it explains why there's so many Teslas in there for service. Oh, yeah, and quite a bit of vehicles in there for service, so don't act like there isn't maintenance or things that are fucking going wrong with them because the whole fucking service department was fucking full of fucking cars. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell you? Yep. Either it's under warranty or it's not under warranty or whatever the case may be, but somebody's paying to fix that issues and the whole dealership was full of cars and the parking lot was full of vehicles not just delivery vehicles but no, they were in the service line. right in the service line uh so could you imagine what it would cost you to take your car to this? well it's 53 dollars just to look at your car right that we're not paying that <laughs> that they uh require to cover themselves in case it's something that is all in your head or really not there so that's a minimum high, hi, Mr. Tesla. Can you look at this problem? It's a minimum $53, which we're not paying for. But yeah, so don't think that there isn't shit that's going wrong with these cars because if there wasn't anything going wrong with these cars, this service department would not have been packed. All right. Agreed. <laughs>